everyone, welcome back to our channel. We really hope that you've had a nice Christmas and New Year. I'm really sorry that I haven't put a video up recently. It's just been a bit hectic with work and things. This video is going to be my what I got for Christmas. I've watched a lot of these and I've really enjoyed watching them so I thought I would do my own. I'm going to start off with some pyjamas that I got. They're these lovely Aristocat print pyjamas from Primark, I think they were. They're just um, long legs with a pink tie. The top is like a shirt style kind of tie top, which I really like because I don't like to wear anything too long in bed as I get really hot. They are a little bit creased because they've just come out of the dryer. I completely forgot that I'd left them in there. I don't know how much they wear, but I believe they probably were very inexpensive. They do lovely pajama sets, so if they're still there, I do recommend getting them. The next thing that I got, I got these Yankee Candle melts from a friend. She got me this Garden Sweet Pea melt. Soft blanket, which I absolutely love. CA. And black coconut. These are really good just simply because you haven't got to keep using the same scent and you can get all different ones and you're not paying 20 I think it's £23 for one cent. The next thing that she got me was a diffuser by Yankee Candle. Um, it's the Midsummer Night Reed Diffuser. I've never had the Reed Diffusers before, but I really do like diffusers anyway. Um, so I'm quite surprised that I haven't used these. The only reason why I haven't brought one of these, I think it's because of how much they are. It's very big, it's going to last me a long time. I think I'm going to put it in my living room. I haven't smelt it yet, actually, because I was waiting for this video to be put up. So, yeah, I got. she also got me that. She also brought me this beautiful Ted Baker set. It's the Bathed in Roses set, and it comes with all these lovely products. There is the body wash in a full size, a hand cream, body lotion, body spray. I think this might be a case, or it's soap, I'm not sure, um, and a bubble bath. Um, I absolutely love this, I love the packaging, it's just pink with um, rose gold detail on and I'm really looking forward to using it because Ted Baker's a lovely brand. I sound very out of breath today, I'm really sorry, I just, I keep getting very out of breath obviously with me being pregnant, I think it's like a symptom or something so yeah I get very out of breath easily even when I'm talking so um, do apologise about that. The next thing that I've got is a Miss Patisserie Great Balls of Fizz set. It's this beautiful box with this pretty detail on the side. They do that on all the boxes, I think. And this has just got four bath bombs in. There's Rosie, Rainbow River, Ziggy and Colourfest. This one is Rosie. Just this lovely pink colour. I've never used, I think I've used one of the bath bombs before, but I've never used these ones. This one is Ziggy. This lovely multicoloured at the bottom and then gold at the top. And we've got this really nice multicoloured bath bomb that looks quite good. Um, which is called Rainbow River. And the last one, which I'm really looking forward to using, I don't know why. I just think it's going to make a lovely bath is the Colour Fest bath bomb. Yeah, it's just this lovely set. I'm so happy to have that. Can't wait to try it now. I also received this beautiful hamper from my sister-in-law, which has got all sorts of little bits in. It also had sweets and chocolates in, but they're downstairs, and I really can't bother to get them. <laughs> but um, she's got me, like, a face mask, um, these cute little... Oh my god, why is my mind blank? <laughs> nappies! Oh my god, what's wrong with me? These beautiful nappies, look, with the little um, baby wipes. She got me this be these beautiful notebooks. Let me show you up close. The first one is this beautiful mustard yellow notebook. It says mummy to be on it and it's got this cute little bird on. It's mustard yellow and it's got this lovely print on the side and on the back it says a little birdie told me. 
which is so cute. Um, the inside has got these grey and mustard yellow birds on. This notebook is just um, a little notebook to write about pregnancy and stuff. Um, I've been writing little diary entries, but you could write name ideas and things that you need to buy and things like that. Just write anything in it. I think it's so cute. And then the other one is this grey polka dot one that says baby and me on it. And it's got the cute little bird on it again. It says the same thing on the back and it also has the same birds on inside. And then the pages, look how cute they are. I just love them. They're beautiful together. There's also some bath salts, a lip balm from the body shop, hand cream, little candles. My favourite moisturiser, which I have been using and I've nearly used it all. <laughs> There's some cherry bake bowl shower gel, which that smells insane. Also, she got me, well, the baby actually, this beautiful white furry jacket. It's got barriers on. And the inside has got bears on. This is six to nine months, so it's going to be perfect for like next winter time. It's so cute. So that was a lovely, lovely thought. I'm really happy with that. These items that I'm going to show you now are from Becky and she really got me some lovely presents. She got me the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. I think this is the newest one in Lush. And I also brought this. It smells beautiful. It's a sweet plum smell. If you have smelt the bubble bar, it's a bit like that, but it's a bit sweeter. So, well, a lot sweeter actually. But I really do enjoy this. I normally get the bubble gum one, but when I saw this in the shop, I knew that I wanted it. <laughs> and then she also brought me, this is um, one product that I've wanted for quite a while. It's the Berry Berry Christmas Shower Gel. This stuff smells so nice. It says, when the snow is deep and crisp and even, walk in a winter wonderland with this, with this fruity, with this fruity beauty. That's a bit of a tongue twister. And it just smells, it smells fruity, but there's like a fresh smell in there as well. It's just so nice. We went into Topshop in December and I really like quote books and I was looking at it, so obviously she picked it me up for Christmas. It's a bestie book. And it's like all different quotes from different women, inspirational quotes and things about friendship and things like that. I just really, really like it. It says, your best friend is your whole world. She knows what you are thinking just by looking at you. Can make you laugh when you are sad and will always be just a phone call away if you are ever in need of advice. And then she's wrote in the front, to Laurel from Betty, which are our nicknames, cause you're my bestie. Aww. She brought me the most amazing pajamas. Um, if you watched our vlog in December, you would have seen them. The trousers are green and navy tartan. They're long legged. I haven't worn these simply because one, I wanted to film this video and two, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear these yet. I might save them till after having the baby. I don't want to ruin them. Um, and then the top says, rolling with my homies. They're the cutest things ever. She also brought something for my baby. Um, and I've been eyeing this up for a while so she knows me well because I didn't tell her about it. The, these lovely little white trousers with animal print. And then the top says hello world with the same design. I just think, how cute are they? And they are in, I think three to six months she got me them. Yeah, three to six months. So yeah, it's the most adorable outfit. I absolutely love it. The rest of the stuff that I'm gonna show you now is from Pete. Um, he brought me some lovely things. I didn't get any clothes this year simply because I think people are like not sure what to get me with me being well growing bigger so um he got me some lovely little things and I'm so I just can't wait to use them. So he also brought me the Berry Berry Christmas shower gel. And um, this is the large version, so with that and that I think I'm gonna be like 
okay for shower gel for about a year so he also brought me a eye cream I've been wanting an eye cream for a long time and I just love how he actually listens to me because no one would really think to get an eye cream I don't think so it's very nice for me it's the body shop oils of life intensely revitalizing eye cream gel I have been using this <laughs> so it's this lovely pot and it is a gel consistency I have used probably a little bit it's going to last me a long time. I love the scent. Can't quite describe it. Is it like it smells a bit like honey or something like that? Um, and it is very revitalising on your eyes. Makes them appear more alert and awake. I'm not sure if this is good for wrinkles, but um, aside from that, it's a beautiful eye cream. Definitely recommend it. Um, it's just that I'm getting these couple of lines here. Um, so I don't know if I'll need something different for that but this is lovely for brightening up your eyes the next thing that he got me was this Great Balls by Bicarb set from Lush I'm not opening it simply because it'll be messy but you get these five bath bombs if you can see you get the frozen bath bomb which is like a blue colour it says this magical blend of uplate of up I can't talk today this magical blend of uplifting grapefruit and Tunisian neroli will thaw the frosteds of hearts which sounds really nice the twilight bath bomb which I've wanted to try for a long time is visions of the night filled with dreamy lavender and comforting tonka that'll be amazing at night time interlargitic bath bomb I've probably said that wrong is oh, we don't see what's in it this awesome mix will have you hooked on a feeling be the garden of the galaxy as it explodes in your bath the dragon's egg bath bomb which has lemon and bergamot in it and the experiment bath bomb which i don't know if i've had an allergic reaction before to it um so i'm definitely not going to put my eyes in the water but i use this and then i use this fake tan um, and I was unsure which one made my eyes go funny so I need to be careful but that one has popping candy in it and vanilla so maybe it might be the popping candy that did it I don't know I've never had any um, allergic reaction to a bath product before so I'm not sure he also brought me the Victor and Rolf flower bomb perfume if you haven't smelt it please go and smell it because it is beautiful it's this pretty box with the black Vic Victor and Rolf flower bomb writing on. And then this is the bottle, which I think a lot of people would have seen. I think a lot of people have probably smelt this perfume before because it is quite popular. But um, he got me the 50ml Eau de Parfum. Um, and I'm only going to use this on special occasions just because it's so beautiful. And I think I'm lying because I've been using it quite a lot. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But it smells lovely. It's floral, but it's not too floral. This perfume for me, it's like on the lines of Chanel and Chloe. But they're my kind of perfumes. So yeah, it is a bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. Very girly. Classy. It's a classy smell. That's it. It's beautiful definitely one of my favorite the last thing that I've got I've wore this to death since I've got it it is this beautiful gray dressing gown I don't really know what to show it this is not going to do it justice Um, it's got this fleecing fleece lining inside and it's got the cutest rabbit ears I love it this dressing gown was from Next. Um, if you haven't had one before, I definitely advise you to go and have a look at them because they're the cosiest dressing gowns ever. And I've literally been living in mine. So, yep. I'm in love with this. I was so happy when I seen it. I also received things like chocolates and stuff like that, but that's downstairs. 
um, and some of it I've ate. <laughs> I also got money from my mum and dad which I'm going to put towards my pram and we got a three course meal with Prosecco which obviously I'm not going to drink so Pete will get my Prosecco um, from Pete's mum so that's lovely of her. So that's everything that I have to talk about. Um, so glad to be back and can't wait to be filming more videos for you and especially with Becky because I prefer to film with Becky anyway. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon. Bye!